Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody. Else. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad walk on. Hey, man, hey, man, we got a very special guest today here. He really don't need no introduction if you've been tapped into the music scene, man. This guy right here, man, really OG in the game now. The new OG. Check it, man. The new OG is here. My guy Jelani is in the building. What's going on, man? What's going on? Man? Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. Boss Talk. talk. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to be in here with y'all. Hey, man, today, thank man. you, man, for spending time. We are in LA, man. We hey, we just pulled up, man. Pulled you got to tell us what's going on, baby. It. It's straight, <laughs> straight out here, straight to work, no hesitation. Say, man, oh man, hey man. So, man, just we always like to go into the backstory, like like who the okay. you know who Jelani really is before it was Jelani, right? Before it was just Jelani, but at the same time, that's your name, right? Yeah, just Jelani, right? I, I, I so, keep it simple. so we want to we, but we want to go back to as a child, we as might ten year go old, to Oklahoma, man. We want to go all the way back, back to all the way uh, we, back from to here. Oklahoma. We actually want to leave here, go to Oklahoma, and come back. That's what we talking. Okay, <laughs> so you know, I was I was born out here in L.A. Okay, you know, um, my mom and my dad. My mom's from Oklahoma. My pops from out here. So about. I was four or five when they got divorced. Okay. Mom, of course, went back home. Mm -hmm. Pop stayed here. Uh, I guess. And you stayed with your mom? She got the kids, so me and okay. my sister, we went to Oklahoma with her. But I got a good pop. See, you know, every summer we was out here. So okay, I got that's a little good. bit of the best, you know, got yeah. both worlds growing but up. How was the difference in both worlds? It was it was cool for us. Because mm -hmm. we'd go back to Oklahoma, we'd come out here three months, go back home with all the new gear. With all the, because wasn't no internet back then. But so. with the culture, though, I'm talking about the culture difference, the way how in LA, you know, you have the gangs, the violence, and then up there in Oklahoma, you don't have. For Oklahoma, I always just think about racism, because it's. It's racism out there. It's definitely gangs out here. Everything's right. gang orchestrated. Um, but as missed, a kid growing well, I up. Missed, I missed that. My three, you know, months out here during the summer was just, you know, we was kids. So we going to Magic Mountain, Disneyland. Mm. You know, I play basketball. I'm going to the park to play basketball. So you're a good kid. So, yeah, it wasn't really, you know, pressured to be in the games That's and get, good. you know, no part of that. So it kind of mm. missed me. You know, That's good. I would go to Oklahoma and they gang banging in Oklahoma too. But really? It'd be, yeah, it'd be Inglewood <laughs> families and. You know, all the gangs out here, you know, I, wasn't, I know who these guys are. <laughs> Y'all ain't from out there, so, you know, it wasn't nothing for me to get into. I seen that, you know, the, the other side of it, too, that wasn't real, you know. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. You know, I just kind of stayed in my own lane, played basketball, didn't gang bang, you know, went through life. It, still street. Still, still street. Up going, you know, in and You're out black. of the country. Yeah. <laughs> I never was part of that. But as a child, feeling. what was your dreams and aspirations? Like, what did you want to be? I grew up playing ball. So you so wanted to be in the NBA? Yeah, I wanted to play ball. Were you any good? I was good. I was real good. You were a guard. Hotel, you know, drive. Drive. I was a guy. You know, oh, okay. And, drive, you know, step back, bam. Man, yeah, you know. <laughs> Grew up with a cat named Jason Hart. He ended up okay, going to play, you know, play some years. He's mm -hmm. teaching at USC right now. It's like my stepbrother. So, That's dope. You know, I grew up wearing him out in the backyard. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, that, man, that was my love. I, I just think, man, that, that to be able to convert from that Oklahoma scene, come up here, go back, man, that just that just builds mm -hmm. like character and understanding mm -hmm. of how things flow in different worlds. And I think it builds character. Like, you Definitely. know, all right, uh, there's certain things I do that I, I can't do it this way because I'm here, but then when I'm out there, because I got cousins out here, uh -huh. and when they would come to the country, oh, man, they like... What they letting you pump the gas first? <laughs> you know, like those niggas were tripping. Like really? Like they let yeah, y'all yeah, man off like go. And then if you don't go, they like, oh, you a sucker, you a buster. Like you paying for gas? They was on my. I'm like, yeah, yeah nigga, we pay down that's here. Right, yeah. But am I right though? Yeah, yeah, like, for real. That, things that's move just different. Something that small, you know. <laughs> I, I didn't even realize that. Like out there, they will let you pump and come pay. Out. <laughs> you a buster? Yeah, you I'm do like, that out here, they yeah. call me a buster. I remember <laughs> my first cousin. He come down there. He Tripping off me like, and I started stealing gas after that, mm. bro. Mm. He, 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 he put it in me. You know what I'm saying? Man, <laughs> like, man, damn, I'm that. filling up like this, man. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I shut down. It can't, ain't nothing of that out here. No, and then I took him to <laughs> Shreveport, and they was over there trying to gangbang, and he was tripping because he lived on Crenshaw. What? These some suckers. How they going to They can't do this over here. They, he on the Cooper Road. Them niggas over there solid, too. I'm like, nigga, yeah. they'll kill you over here, yeah, man. Yeah, for real, for real. They, you know, some parts they get down. They get down for what they <laughs> believe in. They they believe in it, so, you know, they so, get down. So how did you, how did you, uh, okay, you had to be in an area out here. 
Mm-hmm. How did you end up going like to like getting in trouble, going to prison? What was that? What was that um, about? I started off in Oklahoma. You know, I started off at sixteen. I was breaking in shit. Just yeah, a yeah. little boy. Just, just, tell mm-hmm. just. Uh, I man, I'm gonna be honest. I came up there to kill people. Yeah. In Oklahoma, yeah, it was. It was just, <laughs> I was tripping. Like I was up there. I had some stuff going on back. I was young and influenced by this OG nigga. He was like, man, you know. And I never told this story, so y'all don't judge me. And <laughs> like, dude, he was on the run. This dude was on the run. It was like, man, we gotta go up there. We gon' we we gonna get him while he on the run, and we gonna have. And he used to ride with like forty stacks. I never told this story, and we knew that. But thank God, I didn't. We didn't find him. You know. What I'm saying? Thank God. Because I could have ended. My life could have been truly changed with yeah. that whole situation because yeah, yeah, we yeah. were straight serious about it you know what i mean yeah. when you're young you don't think you just go with what's going on right exactly you don't think it's <laughs> you're like you i'm think going nigga. Smart. yeah think i'm like nigga, wait, all, oh yeah, yeah we yeah, catch yeah, that nigga yeah he, he, we getting that you know what yeah, <laughs> real, so real. when you came out here like like far as when you moved to la did you like did you start you was in a in a neighborhood was you influenced by the culture no to, no, you, see when I came out really? here. Really? When I moved and back out here. And how old were you when you moved back out here? I was twenty three. Oh, so I was okay. fresh out the penitentiary out there. I did three years in Oklahoma. And when I got out, you know, I've been going in and out since I was sixteen. And my mom was like, the only reason I was still in Oklahoma because she out there. She actually moved to Lancaster. And when I got out the penitentiary, I went to Lancaster. And okay. I, that was in two thousand. Mm-hmm. And so, and then so, but you wasn't influenced by the gang culture at all. Nah, not at all. That's dope, man. I'm, I'm you a solid dude, bro. I mean, it's in my music too. You know, I like I, that, I, man. I rap about it, you know. Like, you know, my my pops told me that you know you ain't got to be affiliated to nothing to be a grown man. You know, you got to stand on your own too. So that's what I've been. And then Jelani, that's that's the name he gave me. And when I was out, when I came out on them albums, I was Jelani Williams. You know what I'm saying? I just kept my name. Mm-hmm. So. So it's, it's always been that, way. that and so the thing with like like the big psych uh, dealings. How did you and him link up? Uh, that was when I got out to penitentiary. I started doing music in uh, I say ninety nine. I had one year left, and it was kind of like a reality check. Like God, what I'm gonna do? You yeah, know what I'm saying the yeah. NBA. Uh, I would have had to, you know, right. would have had to been on. I'm kind of short, if y'all ain't know this, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, but I, I was Spud well made it. Spud well made it, know, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just the work ethic. So yeah, you got to put that work in. And here I was, you know, about to be 23. I didn't finish high school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No job skills, and I kind of made a decision what I was going to do. I was either going to box, or I was going to do music, and I chose music. And so I started writing, you know. Yeah. And I had a gear, you know, to write when I wrote. You know, I had. Got out, I had 66 songs. I knew him wow. front to back. I moved out here. My pops had heard uh, on the Steve Harvey show about this woman named Layla Steinberg. She was giving this microphone session, same same microphone sessions that uh, she discovered Tupac in. Mm. No, it was a woman that discovered Tupac. Okay, I, I heard that name. So I went up there with her, and you know, after about two months, she had me stab the class and introduced me to Big Sight. Wow. It was uh, four of us that she you know, had stab the class that day. And this was... What, 21 years ago, I'm still messing with Layla this day. That's my dog, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Good. And, you know. Good people is hard to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, I stayed loyal, you know, to, I met him 2000 when everything mm-hmm. Big Psych dropped, you know what I'm saying? You, um, we came out with the Big Psych Daddy, Big Psych Street Commando, uh, Thug Life, Outlaws, Chapter 1, Chapter 2, uh, Crazy Bone, Mac 10, About the Law, Crucial Conflict. You know, a bunch of people is on these albums. Uh, been on tour with Bone Thugs and Harmony. You know, yeah. Wow. yeah, shout out Bone How Thugs and Harmony. I just seen that verse that a while. Yeah. This little West was Coast busy band. throwing mics back then because he just threw a nah, mic. Busy <laughs> mics back then. It, was, it, was, it was smooth, you know. Uh, you know What's never, different about them then when you go on, you know, go on set with anybody else? Um, with them, they got their fans locked in, you know, mm-hmm. like. You got a lot of people up and coming, and then you got the ones that's kind of like, you know. The vets. Yeah, and so they already got their fan locked in and know all they, you know, they hits. Like, mm-hmm. I'll be, I was up there singing this shit, too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's catchy, right? You know, yeah, you know all they hits, and, you know, you know, music was different back then. That was, that was mm-hmm. good music, so, you know, it's different. So it was just, you know, it's, a, it's definitely a learning experience, you know. Your process is that you, you write. You see a lot of these guys punching in now. Um, what's the difference to you? What makes the distinct difference between punching in and just sitting in there and really going in with that pen? 
when you punch in and you go in there in a the studio like that, you're just doing it off feel. Your 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 patterns and stuff. They might be good. They might be on. You might be real in pocket, but you ain't you ain't talking about nothing. You know what I'm saying? You sit down writing. You, you you're talking about something. You're opening your mind up. It's like you know. It's, it's therapy. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I stick with the writing. I'm, I'm talking about something every time. So yeah, yeah. That's what it's about to me. So, so how, your mom, like, when you first got into it, like, did she believe in the music in you? Or she was like, I don't know about the music. How was she? Was Go she find supportive? a job that's going to pay you yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Was she supportive or? <laughs> what did you say? Go find a job that's going to pay you now. <laughs> they was more on that still. You know, even when I came out on the first, I mean, listen, I got out 2000. Uh, 2000, September 20th of 2000. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I moved out here. It took me two months to get out here. I came out here by September 25th of 2001. Wow. One, one year and five days, the big psych daddy came out. I'm on four songs on the album. So I made it from a penitentiary cell to record stores. This is back when the record stores. Yes, sir. Quick. Mm -hmm. I'm like, That's like, quick. Calling back home like, I'm in the record store. Y'all go pick up this album. And what your mama said. Tell my mama, where's the money at? How much you get? <laughs> Mama, the money ain't is coming. But you know, this is just, this uh, is the intro. I mean, the right we coming in. Like, mm -hmm. man, Your mama Jamaican. The money here. <laughs> Your mama Jamaican. <laughs> no, she, 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 they she are already right. Mm -hmm. She was straight up, and then pops the same way. Like pops, he, he even the tougher shell to crack than her. Really? Yeah. So you know, but you know, they want to see me doing. They want to see. You know, you always want to see me doing good, and. It's been it's been an up and down road. Yeah, that's, but, I think that's the career though. That's that that's life. I should say everybody goes up and down. It's not even just one career or one age group, but everybody does. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like, um, man, you got so many stories, so many hidden gems, man. What what was something that Big Psych may have told you that was re referring to Tupac and his relationship? Oh, with uh, Pac. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. So Pac story. Yeah, I gotta hear that. You know what I'm saying. Big Psych, one, one thing that stood out to me is how Big Psych and Pac met. You know, Big Psych was already out here doing this thing. He okay. Already had, he was already on the scene. He was already, you know, that guy. And uh, Mo Preen, Pac brother, had uh, brought him up to his video shoot to meet him. Okay. And that's how they met, you know. That's how their relationship started. So if you notice, during their whole relationship, it was always, Big Psych was always put out there big site you yeah because he was an outlaw he was the only thug life member that was a thug life and an and outlaw, an outlaw. So he was big psych and Mussolini. yeah and then you got the song my closest road dog yeah was the big psych so it was a lot of respect in that relationship you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and big psych a big ass nigga. yeah <laughs> for sure <laughs> for sure wasn't no fun you know what i'm saying and he he's out here in these streets of la when I was out selling Big Psych CDs, you know, I'm fresh out here from Oklahoma. Yeah. I got this Big Psych CD with all these people. Like, yeah, man, I got this Big Psych. I said, from my VC? From my VC. Yeah, from my, but, you know, Big Psych from Tupac. This nigga that right with, from my VC. Oh, they yeah, were, they yeah, rocking yeah. with him. Yeah, yeah. Hardcore. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, that's when I'm out here learning like that. Everything is set up. It's designed like that out here, you know. That's Everything dope. Everything touches gang banging out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right so, yeah. so big psych though, like like this guy, man. Um, he 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 came on the scene. Pac Pac was really like every time he'll sing it, like on that that uh, all eyes on me. Or if you go back even to uh, dun, 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 I'm up early in the morning first to hit the block. That yeah, one right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. gonna shout big psych out every time, yeah, nigga. Yeah, like yeah, period. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so that was that was a dope relationship, man. And that's why I asked you the question I asked you because that's the stuff that people really like. If I didn't never get to interview him, I gotta I gotta go through you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just to understand what that relationship was even entailed, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for real, so for I, real. I just like the way that you know that 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 part of the 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 rap game, the entrepreneurship, the way that it slid everything through. Mm -hmm. That's a part that people don't really like to well, they don't really talk about. The connecting that that did for our people. Oh yeah, yeah, for Am real. Am I right? For real. For real. For people real. we didn't have us that 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 sense of unity with our young people like we do. People talk about the negative part, but they don't mm -hmm. talk about the part where we unified in a way that was some good friendship built up on hip hop. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Good friendships and it's still building today. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. Definitely. We gotta look at that because people so quick to paint that gloomy picture. Mm -hmm. They oh man, them they, they don't they don't do nothing or they they always killing. But there's a lot of good things that come out of our people, and we support our, each other too. That's how you get a build up on yeah. artists. People don't talk about that. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. want to talk about the bad, but they don't ever talk about the good. They, but you know, I'm like a person that's like you know, God gave me common sense. That's it. I ain't never had to be no rocket scientist. Yeah. None of that. The common sense would get you through life just fine. It navigates you through there, and you know what I see today is that 
hip hop is we the biggest influence in the world today. That's right. right. Everything is hip like everything got some hip hop in it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, you know, we we are creating our own future, you know what I'm saying? We still complaining cuz that's what, that's what we do. But, you know, it's the, the world is influenced by us. So, it's yeah. like now that everybody watching and we're seeing this, what are we going to do with it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question. You mentioned hip hop is like one of the biggest influence out here. Do you see more negative hip hop going on in the culture right now compared to more positive motivational oh, you know, yeah, so, but what does that say about the culture and what does that say about the music? It's saying that we taking ourselves back a hundred years and we ain't even recognizing it, but you know, we, we kind of mess things up for ourselves, but it's definitely in the down, like it, it's so dumbed down. The music is so dumbed down, uh, everything, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like to take a positive role, let it is kind of corny for most people. You know what exactly. I'm saying? It's kind of a way that you got to do it the way you get these people to understand you and hear you. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And we've interviewed so many um, artists that they'll say, you know, they want the positivity, they want to share the positivity. That's the reason why they're getting into this business. But they know that if they put it out the door first, they're not going to get the audience that they wish they could get. Mm-hmm. So it's like, they're like, okay, I'm going to do all of this. But once I got the audience tuned in, then I'm going to switch it up and give that. But then, then you've been doing. Switch it up. Thank you, because you've been hard to switch it up. It's hard to switch it up. Can't switch it up now. We got to, we <laughs> exactly. winning. We winning. So like, yeah. when does all of that? How can we change the narrative with anything? Um, I feel it's still in our hands. You know what I'm saying? Um, is is it's just gonna take that one? You know, mm. just that one to get through. This this. I don't it, think it changes. And the only reason I say that is because. We speak in our reality of what's happening every day, right? Mm-hmm. So when you start looking at the true picture of what's happening and you see the art that these guys paint, they're really just telling you about what's, what our reality is. I really think that. Like, and so as you look at that reality, as you look at Pac and the people that I know about the Pac, they, I'm an older cat, mm-hmm. that created picture was therapy. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah. Like, like when you hear the re- like, they, like you say, the youngsters, they don't have the essence like, 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 like they had back then. Yeah. But... I think even if the music changes, we still gonna have that griminess and that that so this the streets. I mean, it is it, the griminess gonna be there? It always been. That's there. what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is that you can always talk reality and what is out here, but turn in your music, change that negative into a positive. You can still talk the truth, but mm-hmm. it makes it seem like all that happens every day is something bad. Just like we argue and say we don't like to watch the news because it's all negative, but there are good things that are happening out here. Mm-hmm. So like, why not put both of them in there to say, okay, this is how it starts off, but it can end like this. You yeah. don't always have to end with death or you know, somebody going to jail or you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Because the more you speak, some, speak, like you speak your truth, you speak yeah. your reality. That's but good. if you live into that all the time, how will you ever elevate above that? True. I think you got like, like you, and, and, and you know, it's funny, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up, but the common thing, like, like common, uh, Chance the Rapper, you got these people that do bring that essence, but then you still gonna have them dudes that came from the projects. But you common, know what I'm saying? Chance the Rapper, they just saying, you know, they there, but like, for instance, me. You know what I'm saying? I'm enough street and enough this to get my point across, and then my music is going to speak value. So okay. I'm at a level now that I'm doing everything that they say I can't do. That I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an ass out of them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm too old to do this. I'm too old. I love this. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. ain't nothing about rapping. I still lick you. Yeah. Like, and yeah. then it's about what you're talking about. So, you know, I just put out, I put out eight albums this year. You know, eight? This, this year, I'm going crazy. It's just, Are now, you it's serious? just now February. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all look up just Jelani on all platforms. Eight albums? You know how the hell albums. you put, how did you do working. that? Working. Working. Been working. <clears throat> so, you know, uh, I lost Big Psych in 2016. Correct. We had, mm-hmm. we had a whole bunch of stuff lined up that we were supposed to be doing. Didn't really get to it, you know what I'm saying? So Rest now in you peace. Getting, um, to it. getting to it. I got them right here. This, this Big Psych, this Young mm-hmm. Thug Life. So, That's it, so man. The corporation is Young Thug Life. That's my brand. And, you know, I set it up for my son, for Rico, for cats like this to come out, you know, to bring mm-hmm. them out. It's a platform for them. They just been slow. Yeah. You know, so you, I've been doing this for some years. Bro, I'm like, still, go- I'm stuck on eight albums, nigga. Yeah. I'm, I can't deal with them. Like, man, eight albums, you know how, and, and, and I talk about, like, 
really like a person being able you to do what Al you D do. Al D, like Al D got out of out of penitentiary. Shout out Al D, three hundred. He out of uh, Texas. Texas, but he sure. he got like a lot of albums, man. In he no got like too. eleven volumes in a couple of years, but eight albums in a couple of months because you already were pre staged. Yeah, then. I'm already pre staged. I think I'm that's what it takes. All year, I'm going crazy this year. You know, but I'm when you drop in stuff game. so frequently. Because, like, for me, I hate when I find an artist and I love your music and you're just dropping them and you're spoiling me. Really, you're spoiling me by giving me so much music in the beginning. Because later on, are you going to keep that up once those songs get, oh, and you're supposed to be dropping other songs and other albums and, you, you know, they used to hearing that much that quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you keep that up? Uh, I ain't going to have to because I'm up there in age. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm going to give them all they can handle for this next couple of years. And I'm going to just and step away out. from it. Yeah, I'm done with it. So, oh, okay. you know, it might even be at the end of this year. But oh, I'm okay. definitely going to flood them this year. I'm getting about 100 piece this so year. How, how do you, how do you are, you, are you the visuals coming with it? The visuals is, the visuals is coming. Yeah, the visuals definitely. You is, see what I'm so saying? You got to have them now. Everything is, uh, you know, everything is a process. You know, a lot of cats, they, they get over consumed with the everything that mm -hmm. it takes to you know but you can't get to everything at once you especially know if you don't have a team prioritize yeah you gotta get that canteen that kind of money everything costs you know yeah this music is a it's big expensive. investment of your time and your money and i'm gonna tell you like this if you you know you ain't got the earth in you you know to really because this is one of the hardest things you can sign up for to be I'm can you make you, okay uh, out of or singer. out of every other career that you could do can you the amount of effort you put into this is it worth it with what you get on the other end? Like even when you're selling everything, you have it royalties, all that. It does it, be, but it's a way how you go about it. Um, in the beginning, no, it's not gonna be worth it. You gotta gotta build your name, you gotta build your who you are, and then you gotta have some merch. You know, mm. like gotta up here, you know, my guy uh, sick. You know, mm -hmm. you from yeah. Dallas. You know, I see your shirt. Sick. We I connect. Shout out sick. I like that shirt. Real shirt. good dude. Like he like next Russell Simmons. You know, mm -hmm. he, he, he moving. He in, in a little bit of everything. He got the backing behind him. So it is. You know, he making some good steps. And yeah. <clears throat> people like that. You meet people like that. They got everything. Is 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 you know what I'm saying? Everything mm -hmm. is is just like a it's machine, rolling. man. It's, it's rolling. rolling. You know, yeah. so. Other people, is, it's a hard grind, but people like that to get a hold of you and make it a little easier for you. And it's about who you know. You know what I'm saying? And make the rest work for you. Yeah. Jelani, man, I, I just, like I said, I, I, I really, you messed me up with them albums because that's what I think should be happening, really. Yeah. Because you got to, it's so demanding and everybody wants stuff right now. Mm -hmm. and, and, and nobody's delivering like that. So for you to say that, like, I've been talking this and saying this, like, I listened to dude Gary V. Shout out Gary Vaynerchuk. And he always talking about, he, he met with Nipsey before Nipsey died. And it was like, man, somebody need to come out with an album, like, uh, uh, music every week. every And mm -hmm. it was like, I it hit for me. That's why I drop every day on Boss Talk. I, I, because I, I, cause it's like, you got to give it to him. Yeah. Cause, and if you know how to maneuver in the midst of this thing, you finna, you finna get to it. And you're going to be the... Really, like, after this year, if you do what you say, how can you not respect it? Because mm. ain't yeah. nobody else doing it. Exactly. Am I right? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> you got to respect it. They, gonna, they ain't going to have no choice but to see it. Yeah. You know, and then it got to a point now, like, I'm telling you, I, and then I put out singles with that, but, I, you know, I put out eight albums, you know, 16, the better song, where actually I did a, a valid, I did a 214, I mean, it's just 214. I got 214, it's a valid day, Valentine's Time Day. Mm -hmm. for the girl. That's dope. You got 14 songs on there. And I put it out. It and came out ladies. a little bit earlier than Valentine's Day. I'm like, damn, I wanted to come out on that on day. Uh -huh. So I did a 214.2. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already out, too. They put, That's dope, out. Man. <laughs> they put it out so fast on iTunes. Mm. Now I just put out a single. Literally, I went and uploaded it, you know, and it was up in all stores the next morning. Wow. So now they just went in doing? a couple hours now. I'm how pushing through Distro Bro. Kid. Bro, I'm about to get a I'm about to get a distribution deal. You crazy, bro? Like yeah. you doing this all the time? Like ain't nobody doing that, man. Not yeah. that we don't know. I don't. I don't interview five hundred mm. people. Five, I've been interviewing dog and all of them. A lot of them romantic with their music. See, yeah. you got to be able to hit and move to do that. You got to be able to come with it. You got to you got to be able to let things come and go quick to be able mm -hmm. to and understand things quickly, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for real, for real, for real. No, I like that, man. Be right, like you know, and then just just understand once you get it out there, it's out there. 
if it's not out there, you chances nobody gonna hear it. Yeah, if it's you, out there, chance somebody could hear. You know, you never know what, what happens after that. But a lot of people hold on to their music. That's I was right. Holding on to that's music, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, this ain't wine. <laughs> it don't no. get better with time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, put this out, man. So, so, so. Talk to me about the uh, some film and movies, man. Uh, uh, let's, let's, let's talk about that. My boy is sick. He he, 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 he mentioned that process, to me. Uh, he just shot one called Pax. You okay. Know what I'm saying? And he got two that he's shooting right now at the same time. Uh, I'm going to be in that. Got a little parts in that. Rico got a little parts in that. That's you dope. know what I'm saying? Real dope. Getting on the film side of it because that's what everything in. So mm -hmm. this same outlet we gonna use for the videos. So that's that's know, dope. I, I dropped eight albums, and you know what I'm saying. We gonna do the same thing with the videos. Wow. You know, come March, it's just gonna be flood. Yeah, yeah, just flood. As far as because uh, that's what they want to see. Once Man. they start seeing it, it's gonna be like okay. Mm -hmm. And then you talking about something too. I mean. I'm, 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 I'm with Big Sight. Rest in peace, Pop. Rest in peace, Rest in peace, Sight, man. You know, man. So my stuff is, is, I got an album called Letter to My Oldest Son. Mm -hmm. And it's just that them jewels just dropping that game wow. from wow. Wow. That's, that's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like, game, knowledge, and still I'm going to talk shit. You know man, what I'm saying? Man, I'm going to be Jack. Sound good. So I can go, uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm for the YouTube, y'all. I'm, I'm for the listen, man. Yeah, man, check me Cause out, Because I, I, I really, like I said, I, I, yo, the, way yo, the way you are about the drive, dog. You don't hear that. These niggas ain't working, man. And I know that. Yeah, they yeah. want it. They want to really be famous. They, they ain't willing to put that work in. Yeah. But they want that fame. They ain't ready to put that work in, man. That, and, that, that and work the thing is so about important. It is, is the work is so important. They say it takes, what, $20,000 to master something? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what Google say, you know. Man, no, and you, you, you I'm, got it. I'm at that, right? You know, I'm in, I'm in that them hours right now, you know, so... <clears throat> That's yeah. what it's about. Yeah. Okay. You you gonna make? We gonna bring my other co-host in here. We gotta get a cameo with you with him. For sure. For we sure. We come up here for the business. Like yeah. we want to make sure he might be able to say something or ask something that I I might not be. And then you know he he, he love music. He rap too. Okay. So that's a he gonna always be like he might have something I might not have. Yeah. So, come on in here, man. My boy Money Moses pulling up, man. Pulling up with the dump truck, man. All information, news you can use. Just hey. popping in here. Say, man. So. How you liking it out here so far, my money? I'm high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How you liking it though? It's good. It's good so far. Like the scenery's good. Yeah. It's like it's time to see a different scenery. Yeah, yeah, it was. I got to take you down on Rodeo because you ain't been down there yet. I ain't I just, been nowhere. I just got to show it. Uh, yeah, well, we went last night. We had we worked though. We've been doing interviews. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He said he, he, he has all these things, microphones and cameras. people, yeah, yeah, yeah. interviewing. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 you know, everything out here, especially right now this weekend, is popping. You know, something going on everywhere. So. Yeah. It's, Bro, so, it's one thing I like, but I can't say on camera, though, because I might get y'all in trouble, but I'll tell you <laughs> later, though. <laughs> so so, so let, let me ask you this. So is it, as um, uh, far as, uh, you know, the Tupac era, the big psych era, then you got this guy right here, man, Giuliani. Like, what do you think changed in the music? You're a younger, you're a younger version of us, so what do you think changed in the music to where you at with it now? The meaning of music, they just making just for fun. Like, they just going through there and making what they doing. And you can tell. Life. You can tell. It's stupid. It's mm -hmm. stupid. There ain't no meaning behind nothing. Yeah, they don't have yeah, no structure, yeah. no nothing. Can't yeah. nobody tell them to put this song out, put that song out. They're going to do it just because they want to. Wow, because of the it's, access? Yes, and it's easier to put songs out. And some are a lot of trash. Yeah, a lot of that, it's a lot <laughs> of trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they're not putting that time in, like you just said, when you're writing, and like he writes. Mm -hmm. I know he writes because me and him talk, you know, and uh, we've been together a long time. And, and it's like you can tell, I'm not going to put no, no, no street stuff I like. Me going killing somebody, shooting somebody, I'm not going to put that in the song. Cause I, don't yeah, want, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. I don't want that to be the narrative of me when you look at me. Exactly. Because that's, the, that's what become you. when you. That's something DeRoe exactly. just told me on the interview me and him was doing. He was like, DeRoe Music, he was like, man, you know, when I put a, put a song out, I try to put something out that, I can, that, match, the that can match my reality yeah. that I want to live. Because mm -hmm. what you put out is what you become what you a lot back. of the time. Exactly. Right? Yeah, true, true story. And then, you know, like me, I changed over the years. I have been from... Doing this to doing this and doing this, and you can tell in my music. You know and that's saying? dope. I got an album out called Fast Food. That's the good part about Fast it. Fast Food? Fast Food. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, pretty much it's a pimping album. Oh, it's, Fast Forward. Yeah, it's Fast Food. That's the name of it. It's Fast Food. I was, I was, I was on my thing at the time, you know what I'm saying? And that's what, that's what produced that of it. <laughs> that album. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, them outlaws, the ones that used to be with Pop. 
them, one of them died, didn't it? A few of them, oh, two, a few of them died. It, it, outlaws were signed up, everybody. It got all kind of outlaws running around here. But the main ones was, uh, you know, Edie Castro, Noble. Yeah, the one uh, jump around Napoleon. on that song. That's my guy, Napoleon. He Mutai. He Muslim now. He okay. There. Napoleon and Edie still out here. Um, they, they're, they're around. I don't really fuck with the outlaws, you know. You don't mess with him. It's a big site. Big site. Big yeah. site didn't really fuck with him when he passed. Okay. There's some stuff went on with uh Pac's mom, you know okay. what I'm saying? And that movie, that movie they put out about Pac. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That like, last one. She didn't agree with it. You know, they after she passed, they got that clear. So everybody that was loyal to Pac and that woman wasn't in the movie. You didn't see my prem in there. Yeah. You didn't see Big Psych, you know, take part of this, you know, people stood solid with that, but them niggas, they, they agree. And then they played they self in the movie. Not only that, they, you know, you got these old ass outlaws because they, you know, they play they self. Right? I remember that. Supposed to be young pot. Just, you know, so it is what it is, but I don't fuck with them at all. Yeah. I thought well, they can get I'm money out of the pop, mo- pop movie. Hmm? I thought they can get money out of the pop movie. That's probably what yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's like selling your soul. You stay loyal to what you, you roll with. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I've been rocking with these folks for 21 years, man. I ain't. It is what it is. Not for to play that game. Yeah, I ain't gonna play that game. We we all rode off the road together. We gonna drive through the finish line together. You know that's so. dope, man. That, that that you stay loyal because it's so it, it ain't hard to do. It, it it's really a it's in you to do it, right? Yeah, it's in it you ain't hard right. to do. I mean, it's it's in you to do it. Flip sides. That's right. Go, it's, it's, it's <laughs> like that's harder. You know, you did now. You over here. That's, that don't even feel right. You know so. No, man. So, um, top three artists of all time. We do this segment where we ask you the top three artists, dead or alive, mm-hmm. of all times, in, in, in any genre, too. Top okay. three. Number one. For me. Yeah, your top number three one. from what you feel would be the number one and number two and number three artists of all time, dead or alive. Dead or alive. Number one artist for me is Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, we yeah. get that one. That was one. That's yeah. one of the Michael ones. Michael Jackson, I, 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 you know, you can't I caught even... a little bit of that. I grew up in the '80s, so I seen when Michael came out there and broke away from his brothers and did that. Did it say? Yeah. One of the most epic performances ever. ever. You know what I'm saying? Come on, that man. Was, you talking about Motown amazing. 25, baby? Come on, stop it. So <laughs> I seen that. Then I, I, I seen. I seen Pac take the world number two. Uh, you know, yeah. It's just Pac number two. Cats, you know they. Go to college and could take a pop course and get credits for that. That's, That's amazing. That's dope, man. That's amazing. You know, so the stuff that he done and just the mystery, That's mystery of everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, number so. three. And uh, number three, and you know, they can feel how they want to feel about it. I don't care. I'm going to go with me. I'm going to go with you. Hey, I like it. Jelani, number three. I'm a, I'm a we own, get that. I'm These your own. top threes. Not yeah, the yeah that's your top three. I feel like. That I got a thing that I'm called everybody's top five. It's something I'm pushing. That's gonna be my doc that I'm gonna shoot that's everybody's top five. And it's gonna show you 20 years of the music how I switched up with the times. I'm still relevant right now today. You know what I'm saying? But I came out 20 years ago, and ain't nobody that's rapping that's been rapping, you know, this long except Wayne or yeah. you know these niggas. Yeah. Have, but ain't nobody you know that was up here at our level then lasted this long and could last this long and you know really have to switch your music up because music didn't change man. a lot it didn't change so much and to be able to keep up with the times is amazing in itself you know man. so so <laughs> let, let me uh, okay so you, you already he said he had nine albums or eight eight eight, eight albums yeah he said eight quick what do you think about that in two months right two months you see what what this money is what you think about that i mean so you can tell you're working like you, so you ain't never heard about i never heard that year well, yeah. some like some people out in one year, but it's not even some. I ain't even doing it though. But so this it's like is eight in one, eight in two months is like hey, he moving. He like, moving. You tell the work you putting into it, and you know what that take me. That you got a studio at the house. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> it's, 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 it's it's some work. It's some work. work. It's some work. It's work. Yeah, it's work. And, um, That's a lot of like work. Like I say, I, I've been, I just been recording, 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 stacking up. You know what I'm saying and. I had a few times when I was supposed to put this stuff out and I didn't. And so now it's just, it's just past due. So, you know. But that's a bold statement. Everything must go now. Yep. And then, you know, I'm stay, I'm stay working. So I got, I got projects just, you know, everything on schedule. Yeah. Um, 
I'm, man. I'm, I'm busting through here this year. I love you know it, man. I'm, I'm going to be tuning in. I'm tapping in. You just text me, so I'm going to be calling you and be like, how many we at now? Sure, <laughs> I want to sure. know, man. Where we at with it, man? Hey, it's a lot. That's a lot of numbers. Man, in two months? What? I'm not even going to give you one year. <laughs> See, that's not, that's dope, not bro. Eight one year. But he he's saying that he been doing it so long. He, he had stuff in the chamber. He had one in the chamber. I understand yeah. it. I'm so, saying I can put eight in one year. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. You yeah. gotta be, and then you gotta back that up. Meaning, not not do it again, but I'm meaning you gotta have some visuals to come out with it and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. Visuals cause, and paint, paint the picture. Paint that, the picture. That's the main part, you know. Because like I said, I put out a, 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 and then it's good music too. It's I good music. Just, I ain't just I ain't putting out. Well, I'm putting out good music to where a lot of people wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be there. So, so if you don't catch it now, when you if you catch it by the end of the year, that's still gonna be there. You're gonna be able to go back and get that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the thing. Yeah. I, I needed to be out there. I don't need to be in. Yeah. You know, and then ain't no telling what's gonna happen to you. You know what that's, I'm saying? Man, so, you sound like me now. Yeah. Big Psych, man. Um, I know that was tough on you losing him in in, in 2016. But but the thing I wanna I wanna ask you is like when you when you processing the music, you know. How much do it weigh in on you how he would feel about something that you're creating? Man. You see where that, I'm coming that, from? That, that's dope, right? That's my, he was my biggest fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, he gave me all the, that I need to be where I'm at and to keep going because he believed in me. You know? Yeah. And if you got somebody to believe in you like that, I mean, he passed in 2016. If you got that man's Instagram right now, you're going to see nothing but pot and death roll stuff and, you know, a bunch of little, Pictures that he put up there, quotes, and then you gonna see me all over his page. Like, who is this dude? Where when he passed, you know, I got DMs from everywhere, from everybody, just you know, sending their condolences and yeah. what's going on. It was a lot of respect to where I seen how much love he had from me from that. You know what wow. I'm saying? And when performed at his funeral and the whole nine, but. You know, it's my mentor and my best friend. So I would go to the studio and say something and call him. And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He was always, you know. That's why yeah. I asked you that question, because mm -hmm. that's something I asked Mr. Lee about making uh, Pimp C's, uh, like, albums after he had passed and making Blue Laces for, uh, like, uh, uh, Nipsey Hussle after he had passed. How is that process in the studio after that person's gone and you still hear their voice yeah. and you still having to tackle those actions without their input, but then getting the approval of their family members or somebody that may be connected to them and knowing how they would feel about it because you work closer to them than their family even did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cause you with him more than anybody, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. now for them to say, "Oh no," cause they just cause you was his brother or cousin or some nigga, you don't know. I'm gonna tell. You, I, I would really, if I was on that side having, a, I'd be like, "Nigga, you you know what he would say." You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what he would do. And then I got I got a bunch of big sight music. That's I what I thought. Jet, you know what I'm saying? I got a project he did, the last thug uh, standing, and this it's uh, like a 16 album thing with videos to each thing. Just got to be the right situation to so even even like, push, push it out there. Had, had this conversation. That's so, dope. You know, it's just timing. Like timing, you know, everything could process. And man, if you think it's gonna happen overnight, no, I think again, right? It might happen overnight, but just after you know some years of working at it. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? And yeah. everything happened overnight. But man, after some years, you know, putting your energy into it. So that's I man. think it'll grow just because you got like 16 different videos of him. Mm -hmm. The vision was like it's gonna it's gonna go a real, real fast, real fast. Yeah, I love, I, love, I love to see that. Yeah, I, I like I said, we appreciate your time, man. You you for sure. you to sit down with us, man, and give us your time like that and show us the respect. We come in y'all place, man. It, it's love, bro. Yeah, like, I, like I said, man, I appreciate what y'all doing because you know it, it's because of y'all there is us man. without without being able to have this voice and sit down with somebody and really tell them that you, you know your story. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't going to be heard. You see everybody. I watch interviews from years ago. You know what I'm dope, saying? I'm dope. seeing cats get these interviews, but it's the other people on the other side of the cameras that are making everything happen. So y'all appreciate it too, you know? Man, thank you. And people out there, y'all, y'all, you know, tap keep in the up boss, boss talk, right? man. Boss talk 101, man. Stop. Yeah. What a bosses talk, man. Come we all on, man. LA with it right now. <laughs> all the way in LA right now, man. My boy Giuliani is in the building, man. It's going down, man. All the time. Say man. so, man. Um, all I want to tell you is I always say I love you, bro. You a brother, man. You look like me. So I, I got to say that. I ain't going to never, because if something happened to me, you just said something earlier that yeah, that's the way I think. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I always mm -hmm. take an opportunity to say what you got to say. You know, I love God. So I'm always trying to put God first. And I'm trying to tell people when we talk, hey, man, something ever with me, man, no, hey, man, that dude was a good dude. He loved God. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> 
rock these. I ain't real fancy, but these, these on my wrist. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm I got them in different colors. Okay. Say hashtag gang. Yeah, yeah, I it's see that. It's an acronym. If you turn it on the other side, flip it, it's stand for God. It's all I need. Hey, you know man, that's so, dope, bro. It's the biggest that boy thing. That's why I say God is all I need. Yeah, yeah, God is all I need. That's all I need, man. Yeah. That's uh, this my this my little. That's yours. Yeah. That's man. That's so, dope. How'd you yeah, come yeah, up with yeah, that? Bro. Man, I was sitting uh, this last time I was locked up. I been you know, went to prison three times. This last time I was doing three years, and you know, God gave it to me. I'm sitting in the cell, rattling my head. And it's like when He gave me this music thing. And when I got out, I had 66 songs. Man, um, my dad told me I need to write another song. 66 is a bad number. And I remember I was just telling somebody a little story about my past, and he's like, You know how many books are in the Bible? I'm 66. Like, nah. like, 66. You know, so it's certain things that God let me know I was on the right path. Man. And you know, that, that's, He always. You know, give me man. something, and he gave me this. God is all man. I need, man. You done made my day, man. That's, yeah, that game, yeah. hey, man. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that on the shirt, man. Man, that's what, what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying, I'm all right, but yeah, that's gotta that's do game, it, man. man. That's yeah. dope, man. Definitely, definitely, Say thank you so much for your time, man. Um, sure. How can people get a hold of you if they man, trying I'm to just reach Jelani out to you? Official on Instagram and just Jelani everywhere else. You know, Gmail, Yahoo. YouTube, oh, it's, it's Google, it's Brandon, it's just Jelani. You know what Check I'm it, man. I'm that guy. Hey, man, thank you so much, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talking. Shout out Club Six. Shout out Club Six. Well, that's where we at right now. Yes,